What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kim Vision. Welcome back to another new Music Friday. We have ASAP Rocky's single featuring J. Cole today. It's called Ruby Rosary. I'm going to react to this because I have done the rest of the rollout, so you can go watch those reactions right here. I immediately noticed the unique artwork and wanted to know what it said, um, but because it's in Japanese. So, so at the top it says ASAP Rocky Presents, and then it tells some other thing, but this is what I want wanted to know the text at the bottom said in the dark alleys of 1980s New York City a killer named ASAP Rocky spreads terror dressed in black he roamed the streets at night hunting down the prey in the shadows of skyscrapers his name was whispered throughout the city like an urban legend and even the mightiest of men trembled with fear no one could predict where it would strike next and the city was enveloped in fear that's crazy <laughs> so he's already setting the scene like i in my other videos i said um he's been inspired by tim burton uh you can see that in the hijack music video and i think that's going to kind of be the theme of the whole album don't be dumb so i'm super hyped for that if that's how it goes i also wanted to point out right away that um Drake is not friendly with ASAP Rocky, and J. Cole is just straight up featuring on the song. I don't know how they're doing. I'm I'm assuming Drake and J. Cole are still buddy-buddy, but um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, let's get right into this. This song is called Ruby Rosary. This is like such a dreamy beat. It's produced by The Alchemist as well, by the way. Amazing. I'm a big fan of The Alchemist, if you've seen any of my other videos. Ruby stones on my rosary, champagne, rose and pink, ring around these rosy niggas singing like they Rosalia. All black stones, black on like I'm Jodeci. Funny how I burp so many songs. Well, fuck Jake, five oh. Ruby stones on my rosary, champagne, gold, rose and pink, ring around the rosy singing like they Rosalia. All black stones, black on, bitch, I'm Jodeci. on. Yo, this is such a dream. Like, this is a smoker anthem. It could be a smoker anthem, bro. Like, it's kind of like luxury rap as well. And that's exactly what I would expect from ASAP Rocky, like drugged out luxury rap. Like, he definitely started off his career like rapping about this. Like, LSD is like one of my favorite songs. But since he's reached like superstardom, it's kind of like transitioned to luxury rap a little bit. He doesn't do it like all the time, but um, he's definitely into fashion. So like, all of this makes sense. Uh, Rosalia shout out, I noticed. Oh, I remember that, bro. I forgot about that up until right now when I read it. <laughs> he was arrested in Sweden. I totally forgot. All right, let's keep it going. I'll keep these lyrics up. I'm coming up the street, here they come. And I got a laundry list of bitches I can't wait to see. And I got a laundry list of niggas I can't wait to see. Ruby stones on me like a rosary. Champagne, gold, rose of pink, ring around the rosy. Wow. Ten men on me, scared niggas trying to crow with me. Nigga want to smoke with me. Tell them push up Hercules, Hercules. Tell them push up, tell them pull up. 33 by my obliques. Tell wait them push up Hold ambulance on. on the scene. Hold on, is this... Who's he referring to when he says Hercules? I mean, there's going to be a lot of this type of stuff, and I don't know how accurate it's going to be, so let me know in the comments. But, I mean, that is something that crossed my mind when he said push-ups. Yeah, see, like, I didn't catch this, I'm not going to lie. But that's pretty crazy if he's talking about Drake's ab stuff. And I guess Kendrick did say ambulance. <laughs> amber lamps that's a play on words with amber alert by the way if you've ever listened to like not like us and you're wondering why he says amber lamps it's not like slang it's not like west coast slang like that's intentional for like amber alert Ooh. A wizard of all this nigga reference. alive as a little guy, very deprived. Took it in striving conditions where I shouldn't survive. Now I ride windows down with my foot on the side. Barely could drive on the door, suicide like who dare me to die. You a dead man walking like you barely alive. Cut everything but the family ties. Cut the shit, cut the lies. Word to the wise. Who you Yo, he's five? definitely talking to someone, bro. Yeah. 
Holy shit. Okay, so now it's becoming more apparent to me. Like, when he said family ties, I was like, yeah, this is pretty direct. Um, I'm very familiar with the song. I am still playing it. <laughs> People hate on Drake. Like, clearly he lost the beef, but, like, I love Family Matters. That song was crazy for Drake to just whip out, you know? I love Family Ties by Kendrick as well. That is one of my favorite songs of the last five years. Down with my foot on the side, barely could drive All the doors suicide, like who dare me to die You a dead man walking like you barely alive Cut everything but the family ties Cut the shit, cut the lies Word to the wise, who in your top five? <laughs> I don't give a shit that bitch I'm buried He doesn't alive. care who's in your top five talking bro. funny like his family guy Caring for niggas like I'm married good. to Bob Made a promise to God Gotta strive when you marry the mob They ain't seen his drip since Rick the Ruler They done forced my hand, my shit is Rugas We don't wear Zara, shit don't suit us Hey, tiny throw stones, I'll take them to my jeweler Ruby red rosary, skin looking coffee bean Berries on the coca leaves So I didn't even mention, but like clearly the, the hook is referenced to Ruby Rose And I know there's a Ruby Rose, the actress But then there's also the Ruby Rose, like the um the rapper Or, I don't know, does she rap? I don't know, she's like a hip-hop personality She's dated a lot of rappers. That's that's about all I know. On the release of Oh my god, everything is about Drake, bro. What the hell? Who jokingly compared it to background music at Zara. That's pretty funny. <laughs> bro, I'm going to say it. Honestly, never mind grew on me. I went like 5 months without listening to it. Like I listened to it on my reaction video and then i listened to like my favorites from the album like that week and then i never listened to it again but i just listened to it recently and it grew on me bro it was just so jolting for drake fans at the time because no one wanted it and no one expected it <laughs> I'm, like, super torn about this because, like, the average person who doesn't pay attention to hip-hop music would have no idea, like, these are subliminals, you know? Like, it's not direct at all. But, like, when you read into it and when you see the annotations, you're like, okay, clearly he's meaning this in this way. Like, it's pretty direct in that aspect. What I'm trying to say is he's not really hiding it. Smoking on the potpourri, maybe bitly mocha seeds, never too close to reach, back home from overseas, J stones, clover leaf, emeralds like Dorothy, yellow bricks on the feet. Yo, he finished both verses with the Dorothy reference. Okay, before we get into J. Cole, I did want to just, you know, point something out. <laughs> So I've been thinking, like, I broadly knew what a rosary was, but I'm, like, not religious at all. And I'm not sure still if ASAP Rocky means it as a religious symbol because, I mean, there's, like, it could mean other things. Like, I had this highlighted to help keep in memory certain principal events or mysteries in history. Symbolism for, like, him uncovering certain things, like him shedding light on some, like, certain things. Um, cause like, obviously Ruby is a reference to like the Ruby slippers in that Dorothy wears in the Wizard of Oz. So that's why he keeps mentioning Dorothy, but the rosary part, let me know what your guys' theory is. It, it could be like a lot more straightforward than I'm reading into. Um, but I want to hear your guys' perception of it. All right, let's get into J. Cole. You're coming home with me, take a load off, but baby, don't be Dorothy. Hello, the world is tumbling down. I've been chasing my piece of the pussy. I just got the cookie, it's crumbling now. I'm starting to think the judgment day, they talk about us coming around. So many they throw up and starting to slow up. I bet that they humbling now. I'm wondering, I'm wondering how a nigga go stretch these millions. What happens when rapping no longer matters? Can I still make a stack on my brilliance? Yo, I don't want to go back to civilian status. I'm gonna add it for comfort and doing whatever I want to whenever I want to. I promise myself I would never feel hunger again. Oh my so I'm God. living this pen, locking the fuck back in. I'm from a rough patch for a quick dollar. They popping your hub cap. Bro. Oh my god, this is heavenly, bro. It's just, I feel like I'm in a dream state. I feel like so luxurious and like J. Cole's here at the top of his career just going off. You can still hear the hunger when he said, uh, where is this? I mean, this, yeah. I promise I would never feel hunger again. That's a that's like a cool double entendre because like he's never going to be like physically hungry again, but 
also like hunger for the game for the rap game that's that's pretty cool the matters can i still make a stack on my prayers i don't want to go back to civilian status i'm gonna edit for comfort and doing whatever i want to whenever i want to i promise myself i would never feel hunger again so i'm here with this pen like the fuck back in i'm from a rough patch for a quick dollar they popping your hub cap rims profit is just that slim Ooh. i was a rug rap when we had it the toughest and i had a hunch back then that i was special i gotta move careful cause nigga around here they don't wrestle no reason to tussle reach down with a pistol was nestled put one of your freckles he was talking that shit oh then he saw the stick God. He feeling forgetful, connected to God, I'm a vessel When they ask for the old, you ignore him Going back was born, bitch, and I'm not Michael Jordan I don't do the retro uh. <laughs> Hey, tell him again like an echo My niggas ain't Greek, they pledge in the streets They come through and kick in your back, though Used to come through this bitch with my hat low Now I ride through this bitch in a bat mode Bill, see something that's ill Come flow through the veil, ain't too hard to tell Who behind the wheel Oh yes. my god Holy shit Alright, that was nothing like too new from j cole but just the way he delivered it like this flow and the way he says things will never get old you know like he's talking about his hunger like where he was and where he is now you know that typical like he talks about that stuff a lot but i want to read some of these um annotations because maybe there's something deeper that i missed yeah more gun talk classic j cole gun talk oh shit he was talking that shit then he saw a little stick all of the sudden he feeling forgetful so so he's so he's basically saying like he wasn't true to himself and that's kind of what he said when he apologized at the concert but it's just like weird to say this on an asap rocky song okay he's apologizing to kendrick he's clearly like featuring on a song who drake has an issue with and J. Cole never went at Drake. He was going at Kendrick. It's just, like, all messed up. It's it's so confusing. I've been here for the entirety of this beef, by the way, and my head still spins around, like, certain lines and, like, oh, this is that, that's this, like, who's talking about who? Like, is this a subliminal here? Like, there's so, it's so intricate. <laughs> This production is amazing. I love the Alchemist. Oh, that's it. Damn. Whoa. That was just... I can't wait to play that in the car at night. Like, I have a playlist just for that, and, like, that's going to be so good. I want somebody to explain, like, why J. Cole is on this song. Um, is he still cool with Drake? Like, I don't know any of that, really, from what I got from the lyrics. Uh, so let me know. Rank the ASAP Rocky singles. Somebody told me that Taylor Swift isn't going to be on the album, which sucks, because that might be my favorite one. It's close between that and this one. Um, but I'll have to give this more listens, obviously. But rank the singles. And definitely subscribe so you get notified when I do the entire album. I'll definitely be covering Don't Be Dumb in its entirety, so definitely look out for that. And I will see you next week for some new Music Friday. All right, guys. Peace.